So, folks, it's a little hard to uh, compete with March Madness, but I've been under weather the last couple of days. Not feeling too good today, but I thought we'd give it a spin, see how we do. Always found a better way to feel better to get and do something. So let's try it. Let's give some. Let me get the. Let me get the monitor up. Probably won't have a lot of people coming in. I don't know what's going on here. All right, that'll get us going, I think. Okay, so we got a white canvas. <clears throat> it has three coats of gesso on it. It's been lightly, very lightly sanded. Not, didn't do a lot of sanding. It was pretty smooth already. Didn't want it too smooth. So I'm just mixing up some, stirring up some liquid white here. I'm not actually mixing it up. I'm just stirring it. I don't make my own liquid white, although I make a lot of my own stuff. A lot of mediums. Hey, Bruce. Well, at least somebody will be here to watch. Man, I can't believe it. people are... Oh, you know what? I need a little bit more light. Hang on a second. Let me turn on some other lights. Studio gets a little shadowed if you don't turn off turn off the light set down. With March Madness going on, I didn't figure too many people would want to watch painting, but give it a try. Hey Ray. Alright. We can already put some liquid light on here. Let's do that. I don't know what we're gonna paint today, but we'll figure it out. I haven't been feeling too well today, <clears throat> so I thought I'd try to paint something. It'll probably make you feel better. I don't find, usually laying around don't make me feel any better, I'm trying to catch a nap or something like that. I think there's too much pollen in the air for me right now. Anyway. So how are you guys doing? Just put some liquid white on here. Some regular economy canvas. Except I added three coats of gesso to it. There's a video in my library if you want to know how to make gesso. Make your own gesso. It's really easy to do. Alright, got a nice even coat there. <coughs> Excuse me. Missed that corner. I can see people watching, but if you're, if you're commenting, I can't see that for some reason. But I'll just assume you're there. If you have any questions, but if you would, say hi, so I know you can hear me okay. I'm beginning to think you can't hear me okay. Maybe I should stop the video and check it. I haven't had any equipment problems lately, but that could be. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's do a sound check. Can you guys hear me? If you can, somebody better speak up. Or we're just going to end this video and then start it over again. Hi, Marilyn. Can, Marilyn, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? All right, well, it looks like our sounds failed, so I guess let me, may as well start over again, do a sound check. I don't know why the sound would be bad. 
Everything looks like it's recording okay. Well, people are still pulling in, so I guess, I don't know, maybe you guys can hear me, but you don't feel like answering. That's okay. You don't have to. You don't have to. All right, let's do something. So we'll just take a little phthalo blue, flatten this out. You can hear me? Oh, good. Thank you, Karen. All right, guys. So let's just start off. Uh, let's see. Let's get a little bit of Indian yellow. <clears throat> We're gonna do a day, day a, sort of a sunrise scene. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So let's just put some, let's go up about right, like about right here. So we've got, um, we've got some, uh, Liquid white sitting on top of three coats of gesso is our ground. That's that's pretty important. Not the gesso part because you need a good ground for your oil paints. Between them and that canvas, the primer that they put on these canvases is not very good. So make sure you put put some gesso. On. Whether you like two coats or three coats, uh, you have to make that make up your mind for yourself. But I use three. Hey Dorothy. Hey Anna. Hey Tom. You couldn't get the. Did you use a? Did you use a, a oven cleaner? I use I use a Easy Off oven cleaner. That works. That works really good for me. The the kind that doesn't have any fumes. The fumeless kind. All right. Pick up a little bit of the lizard and crimson. We're going to go above this a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of space between that. Didn't pick up enough paint though. All right. Let me try to get. So I'm picking this up out of a pile I had from earlier in the week. We're down. So you can see there's kind of a little bit of a line there. That's good. We want to keep that because we'll use that for blending and we'll bring those colors together. All right. And then let's pick up a little, without cleaning the brush still, we'll pick up a little phthalo blue. Put that, start off in the corner. Kind of make it a little bit darker. And there's not a whole lot of a line. This is a small canvas. This is a, what is this? This is a 12 by 16. You know, it's not too small. It's a medium-sized canvas, I guess. Let's put some blue in here. Okay. All right. Now let's let's start blending this. Tom, I usually use a easy off oven cleaner over oil, over oil paint, and then uh, it takes a, you, you might have to apply it twice. I usually don't have to, but of course my paintings don't sit for a long time. Probably not longer than a year because. Um, if you haven't varnished them, anyways. All right, so let's see. Let's just kind of let's start. Let's start down here in the. We'll start off by pulling this this uh, Indian yellow toward the crimson, and we're rubbing this pretty good. We're letting the, and then we'll work our way back down into the the lizard crimson back down. really want to kind of pull these colors together as much as I can before I move up into the blue because once I do that I've kind of contaminated the brush a little bit so yeah that's okay actually I think like right here a little bit more a little more of a crimson so I didn't know if anybody would want to paint today it's March Madness over here in the United States and people got their TVs on watching basketball so all right, let's pick up this blue now. We're just kind of using an X stroke, a little bit of an X stroke. Sometimes I use an X stroke to blend. Sometimes I use a circular motion. I kind of like that. I like the way that blends better. It kind of keeps the brush strokes out automatically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that looks pretty good.
break up some of that symmetry. Let's clean the brush a little bit. We've got kind of, it's it's reached sort of an uneven line there, and that's fine. It's sort of an uneven line in there, but we definitely got some a little bit of layers going there. So we'll break some of that up with clouds and some other things a little bit. In just a little bit. All right. Let's see, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and put some clouds up there. So let me switch brushes. I'm going to switch to, I need some titanium white. Oh man, my titanium white tube. Get to open a new tube today. Yay. If you're new to oil painting, you will find very quickly that you go through more titanium white probably than most anything else. At least that's been my, it's been my experience. Clean this knife off. Spread this paint out on the palette. There we go. And clean the knife off again. All right, let's see. Let's pick up a fan brush. We'll just pick up a number, I don't know. It's a little smaller than number three, maybe. It might be number two. It's a pretty stiff little fan brush. It's not one of my Bob Ross ones. Uh, let's see where I want those clouds. Uh, let's put them like. Blend that just a little bit down here on the bottom. So we pull this out into some clouds on a circular motion. Stay off of that top part up there too. We don't want to be up there too much. And just kind of. There we go. I'm going to put some mountains in here, I think. I don't know if they're going to be distant or if they're going to be closer, but we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Let's put a little bit of. Let's put some clouds right here along this blue. I'm just using the edge of this brush, the very tip edge of the brush. Can't paint without paint. All right. Yeah. Hey Tammy. How are you today? How's everybody doing, man? I haven't been on in like a couple of days. I've been kind of sick. I'm still kind of sick, but. It didn't stop me from doing stuff, but not really not a good excuse to not be painting, but. But some of you might not know, I'm a novelist, so I write books, and I am rapidly closing on the last book in a nine book series called Bornshire. And I have been working on that series for 30 years this year. And down to the last few chapters and so last few scenes with these characters and so it's been hard it's been usually uh, the book itself is about 250,000 words long so it's about a 500 600 page book and usually writing comes I've been writing for so long it becomes fairly easy but it's been tough it's been tough knowing that when I get done with these with this book that they got those characters I'm not going to see them anymore they're like old friends you know so I've known them a long time. So <clears throat> when I haven't been painting, I've been working on my book quite a bit. All right, I'm picking up some mountain mixture. If you don't know what that is, it's a it's a pre-mixed color. It's a Bob Ross color. It uh, it's a mixture of Van Dyke Brown, Thalo no not Thalo blue, Prussian blue, and some alizarin crimson. So uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's figure out. I want some mountains in here, but I haven't decided where I want them to be yet, so let's figure that out. So I'll just do this with a knife. Sometimes if you watch, I, sometimes I do uh, mountains with a, a, a filbert brush. I kind of like the work doing that with a filbert. I like working with a filbert. Alright, I think I'll keep these mountains relatively small. So let's just kind of pull them out here. Right now, I'm not pushing all that hard, but you will see I've got my finger on the top of the br on the blade, of the top finger on the knife. And when you do that, it, it, it applies the color a lot more uh, butter, or like putting butter on bread consistency, right? So, so when you're actually uh, 
and you're actually uh, putting on other layers on top, you don't want to do that. You don't want to put your finger on there like that because you won't let your paint break. So there's a little, there's a little tip for you. All right, let's see. Let's make this guy. Let's see. Yeah, we don't want this range. Maybe I want another little distant range out back like that, out there farther. Don't make your mountains too pointy um, when you're painting. You make them too pointy, and uh, they look, I don't know, they don't look right. They look like I, uh, upside down uh, ice cream cones. Or uh, snow cones, yeah, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. All right. Let's spread some of this paint out. I don't need all that paint on there for what I want to do. So, but so this brush is not quite dry. Let me finish wiping it out. Let's just take a one-inch brush. I haven't really decided how I want the slopes to go. I can kind of see them. I guess we'll kind of put some highlight on this side of the mountain. So let's let's do the reverse side first. I don't want to touch that edge. I'm just kind of, what I'm doing now is just kind of laying out the slopes and pulling the, well, all right. So the big mountain wants to be in the back. I thought this little mountain was going to be back in the back, but he don't want to be in the back. He's being bossy. He doesn't want to be in the back. But see, I can put this mountain in front just by pulling this slope down if I wanted to. But... Okay, I understand, guys. They want to be more like that. They want to be... Let me just pull some of this color down. I have no idea what I'm actually going to paint in this scene. We'll just do it as we go. Kind of whatever what feels good. All right. Well, let's highlight that first. Mm, let's mix up. Let's see, what do we want to, what do we want to highlight? I think before I highlight too much, I want to put in a little bit of, let me, I got a new uh, Van Dyke Brown, I want to try this, a new color of Van Dyke Brown by a different vendor. So let's see how that looks. It's something new, nothing like trying new paint while you're streaming so everybody can see if it sucks or not. <laughs> All right, so let's put some of this dark color in here first. We got to do good, nice, good black color on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this too much, but uh, that looks pretty okay. It's a nice, it's a little thinner than what I'm used to, but that's okay. All right, let's start to mix up some color now. I'm going to put several layers of paint here. Now you notice I put all that highlight on there. I still didn't pick anything up. What? I kind of like that. That looks okay. All right, so we're going to take that same color, mix it with, with a little bit of blue. Let's see how that looks. Let's pull that down with this. I'm going to put some more highlights on that in a second, but I just want to see how the reverse color is going to look. That's okay. That's all right. So our main light source is going to be like right here in the middle. So this other mountain coming up is going to have a highlight in the center. So we're going to move all the highlight to the center as we go. But let's kind of play some of this in there. All right, let's, now let's finish highlighting the front side. Wipe the knife off. Everybody's so quiet today. My goodness, you must be watching basketball while they're watching me. <laughs> I don't blame you. I would be watching basketball too. My wife is a huge basketball fan. Matter of fact, she's upstairs right now watching the ball, watching the game. I 
don't want that bright color too far up that mountain because this mountain's got a little bit of shadow to it, right? So we just want it on the edge. Just a little bit on the edge. Okay, all right. That'll be okay to start with. Let's put another, let's put another mountain in here. I'm going to start off this way, see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. I don't like this too straight. Here we go. I don't want the mountains to be too straight. Put a little extra thing in there. turn my attention to the painting. People are not talking too much, so I'll just, I'll look over every once in a while, but other than that, I'll just kind of keep painting and dialoguing as I'm going. Get a little curve to that. And another little curve like that. There we are. Maybe another one right there. Basically, I'm wiping the paint off the canvas. I may have to take a towel. I got more paint on there than I actually want on there. We'll see. We'll see if we can brush it up. Alright, that's okay. Alright, let's clean the brush. Alright. <coughs> picture. I'll look at it. But let's put some highlight on it. We'll see. We'll start off with the darker color first, except that blue. It's just the Some of that earlier color that we put on, that lighter color. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean that knife off to do that. Alright, so we're gonna go back for this. You don't think of Van Dyke Brown too much as being a highlight color, but it sort of can be. It can be. I think maybe we'll have to have a little cliff looking little thing right there. And then maybe this will come on down like that. Let's, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. That's okay. All right, then we'll bring like, let's kind of sweep this in. We'll put some more highlight, darker highlight in here in a second. On this front facing part of the cliff. All right, same thing with the yellow, with the bright light yellow, just right here on the ridges. kind of looks like a big hole right there though so let's put it could be a cave but I don't really I don't want there to be a cave all right
Hey Deborah. Harriet. How are you guys? We're just piddling here a little bit. While the basketball game's on. Alright, let's put a little bit of So we'll push that off pretty far. It's a small canvas. We're pushing those mountains back pretty far, pretty far. All right, so let me pick up a little bit of white and over in this area. Start over here. Hope I'm, not, hope I'm not putting my hand in your way. Put some, a little bit of mist in there. Not a lot. I'll paint over most of that. And then we'll put some mist over here. Give us room to put some water or some trees or something. Not sure what's going to go in here. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, I picked up some blue. Get up from there. We'll just, we'll just blend that out. There we go. Blend all that out. It's a good thing about having liquid white on there. So, all right. Let's kind of smooth that. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Hey, Dee Dee. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was wondering at the beginning if, if people could hear me at all. But so, uh, Karen, Karen finally said she could hear me pretty good. So I'm running on a I'm running on half my cylinders today. Not feeling too tough. Not feeling too good today. But I think I got it. I don't know if I. Caught a spring cold, or or if the the uh, pollen's get to me, or what? But I felt fine yesterday. I was, felt a little puny the day before, but I felt really good yesterday. Not today. I'm... All right, that brush wasn't quite clean, so we got it up, clean it again. All right, well that's coming out. It's kind of coming out, okay. Let's see. Let's put. You know me, I'm always constantly like trying to add stuff into the painting, make it a little bit more interesting each time. All right, let's do, let's put some trees up. Let's get some sap green. Where did it go? Here it is. Now, recently, I ran out of Bob Ross sap green, but I had, they had a sale on paint at Hobby Lobby. So I bought some Georgian sap green. And, uh, off the clearance rack. And it's, Pretty good, pretty good stuff. So I can recommend that. Uh, I don't know how much it costs usually, but normally, or usually or normally, or whatever it is. All right, so let's put, let's get some. We we'll use a little bit of that same Van Dyke Brown and some uh, sap green. Maybe a tad bit of blue. So that's the same colors we've been using, except we just added a little bit of sap green to it. And then let's let's add a little bit of white. Let's check that color. Let's add that. Let's check that color. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I don't want it to be too dark out there on the horizon because it's going to be. All right, that looks yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just mixing it up here. All right. So we kind of got this color. Can you see that? It's got a little bit of swirl into it, and that's okay. That'll look good with the trees. If you haven't watched for me before, let me give you a tip on painting. You get paint on your fingers. The easiest thing to get it off is baby wipes. Look at that. It takes it right off. Even my rough old hands. All right. My hands are kind of scrubbed up from being out in the garden <laughs> the last couple of days, too. So It was sunny, and I got to wash my truck. And, uh... I love my truck, so I felt good to get my truck done. All right, let's start moving forward and see where we're going to go. So let's start right here, and let's start putting some distant trees. Let's see, where do we want them to start? Let's start all the way right there. So we're just pulling the edge of the brush. We're just using the tip of the brush, 
and then pull them straight down. And I don't want to keep them straight. Kind of keep them up, going, moving up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm going to go back over some of this in a second. I'll show you where I'm, why and where. Okay, so I'm going to go back over this in a couple places, and I'll tell you, let me tell you why. Let me point, let me get a pointer. Use my pencil here. This is my chalk. Well, no, this is just a lead pencil. Okay, this will be good. All right, so I'm intending on maybe putting a waterfall, like right here, maybe. Maybe just some water coming out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. But these trees right here, you can see through. You can see that they're, they're spaced apart. Unlike these over here. See how these are all kind of bunched together like that? Except for right there where I just... Alright. I'm going to go back over this part. I want to close those trees up. If you don't, they kind of look like telephone poles, you know? And, or fence posts or something. So that's what I'm doing all the way across here. I'm just pulling some of that down. All right, now, I don't know what's going to go below here, so I want to go in, I don't necessarily want to have to do a straight line across, and I probably won't, I'll probably like have the line come down like this, toward the center, and then toward this, and I'm going to pull some of that color down, because my intent, although sometimes a painting goes where it wants to go, kind of just like when I'm writing a book, the... Uh, the book goes where it wants to go. I'm going to pull some of this down so we can turn it into reflections. Alright, it's nice and it. And we'll just brush it crosswise like this and pull it out. And there we go. And voila, there we go. Get some reflections in the water. Or whatever's going to be there. If there's, not, if there's going to be land there, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what I put there, so. Hey, Ferris. All right. How are you today? All right, guys, tell you what. I didn't... Did I? No. All right. I'm a little off kilter today, not feeling too good. So let me... I messed up, and I didn't set my drink out. Hang on a second. Let me grab my drink real quick. It'll take me like two seconds. All right. It's nice to have a refrigerator in your studio. All right. So I have a little... All right, I'm not opening beer here. I'm just opening a can of dry ginger ale. All right. I'm not, I'm not, I don't drink, so... Okay. So, so far, let's talk about colors. we got... Some yellow and red, and a little bit of orange in between there, and you got some red, and a slight bit of lavender made by those two colors. And then in the mountains, we're mostly uh, mountain mixture and uh, Van Dyke brown, and uh, et, cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hi, Gary. How are you today? Hey, you know what? When we get to the end of this video, um, I think I'll announce giving away a painting. How about that? I haven't done that in a week or two. Let's do that. All right, so I'm picking up some Van Dyke Brown. We're going to put just a, a tiny bit of landscape in here. I don't want a lot of landscape in here, so I'm going to start right here. And I'm actually going to, this time I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not causing the paint to break, so I'm going to put a lot of pressure on this knife. So you see I've picked up a roll of Van Dyke Brown. We're just going to kind of create the shoreline here a little bit. Moving it up and down. And then by moving it up and down, you can see that nice uneven shoreline, which is exactly what we're looking for. All right, that gives me a place to put the waterfall right there. All right, that's good. And maybe, maybe if I put a waterfall there. Eh, why not put a waterfall? 
I don't know what's going to I don't have any idea what's going to go on up here. So we'll figure it out when we get there. All right, let's put some water lines in, though. So I guess we're going to have some water. So I guess we're going to put some water in there. Let's put some color. Let's add a little bit of color. So let's use the same color we had before. I'm doing good, man. I, I'm feeling a little under the weather the last couple days, especially today. But I figured well, it's not going to do me any good just lay around. Let's <laughs> so let's just do let's get up and do something. All right, so let's just brush in a little bit of this this color. Like that. You can carry that on across. I'm not sure. I don't, all that's not going to be water, but let's just throw some water in there and we'll figure out if we're going to cover it up later. All right, and then we'll blend this back toward these trees, this color we put in earlier. There we go. All right, now let's just blend it out. Mixing it with that liquid white. You see, we've kind of let this green, we brushed this green on down into there, so it's kind of the, they'll uh, kind of carry on forward. Let's cover up that, all right, that little spot of canvas selling up there. There we go. All right. All right, that'll work okay. Now, we can, we could, we created the shoreline there. We could put, I think we must say, hang on a second. Let me, clean this, let me clean this brush. Even using odorless mineral spirits, it's good paint thinner. Except I've got a dirty piece of towel just wiped right on top of my clean brush. So I'll try to get. You're in London. Oh, I was in London um, a couple of years ago. I was there. Um, uh, for two weeks, I stayed over in Kensington. Lovely. Just absolutely lovely. Especially for a tourist like me. <laughs> my daughter. I went with my daughter. Um, she had always wanted to go to London, so we went. Her and my wife, we went to London in Kensington. And we traveled just right there around London for most of the time we were there. We went out to... Um, we went out to uh, Stonehenge one day by bus tour, but pretty much we stayed right around, right around London. All right, let's put some water lines in here. So I'm just got some titanium white going right along the edge of this. this brown. All right, I picked a little bit of that up on my knife, so we wipe the knife off and do it again. Picked up a little bit of that brown right there, and that's, I'm going to leave that there because I kind of like the way it looks. I like the way that it kind of looks like <clears throat> the shoreline's a little dragging out into the ocean. I mean, out into the water. Into the ocean. It's not the ocean. All right. That's pretty good. All right. Well, we might put some other water lines in, more water lines in there later. <coughs> now, um, we use... We use some color combination here with sap green along this, this tree line. And now that I got the shore in here, I'm going to put a little bit of a mixed color. In fact, let's see if I can find something here. Let's, let's take a little bit of uh, uh, Van Dyke Brown. And I've mixed just a, a touch of Cad Yellow into that because I have it sitting here. So it's, it's a way to make a lighter color without <coughs> using white, which is always preferable. If you can use a lighter color to make what you're looking for. And all we're doing is just putting a tad bit of this across the landscape there. Give it a little bit more 3D, a little bit more of a 3D effect. There we go. That looks okay. All right. If you, get, if you guys have any, beat the devil out of it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm a huge Bob Ross fan. I, I, uh, I went to, uh, when I started painting three years ago, I um, went to a Bob Ross class. Just I just thought one time it would be fun to go. And I did. I went one time. And then I was hooked. I just couldn't stop painting after that. <clears throat> couldn't stop. All right. So I want to I wanna give a little bit of an impression of, of some tree trunks back in this this part so 
Let me clean this brush off. I'm gonna clean off a fan brush that I've already got, got going. So let's just clean that off. Hello, Shirley Hopper. How are you today? All right. Yeah. I'm just gonna pull up some things here on the shore. Just pull up some things. It looks like some bushes back there, maybe, or some tree trunks back up in there. That looks pretty good. And then I think I'll take a little bit of dark green. Darker green. And let's just pull. So we'll pull a little bit of that up through these trees just to give them so they, look so, so they don't look so green. They look more, they look so solid green. There we go. There we go. All right, that looks better. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to clean my brushes more than you, some of you guys. I'll tell you why. I uh, have ADD, so uh, if I don't get them clean while I'm working with them, then I tend to forget sometimes. All right. So now, we're going to come. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm thinking maybe like. The shore on this side comes out like all the way out on this. Can you see where there's a difference in the color in the ridge line right here? Like there's a difference right there. There's a difference right there. Hmm. So let's see. Let, I don't know. Let's we'll put a waterfall in there. If we don't like it, we'll take it out. I, I don't know if it fits in there now. Even though it's what I said I wanted to put in there, I don't know if it actually f works for me. So let's come in here. This is going to be a little waterfall because it's way off in the distance. Almost need liquid white to do that. Hang on, let me, let me get some liquid white, guys. I'm trying to make such a small sweep with the brush that it just. There we go. When I first looked over there, I thought you said you were watching the cows eat paint. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, my voice is holding up pretty good. All right. Yeah, no, I don't really like the way that waterfall is, so we're going to change that. That's a good thing about painting. If you don't like the way it is, just change it. So we're going to. I'm just going to come in here. Pull this mountain over a little bit. And I'm just going to smooth paint. Blend that waterfall right back out. I didn't like it. I didn't like it there. Because I kind of see the land kind of like more being up along in this area and then just some water back that way. So I think that's how we'll do that. So let's I'll tell you what, let's put let's put some let's carry on with this brown. And then let's see if I wanted to kind of come like I'm just kind of laying this out right now. More like kind of like that, maybe more like that, and then coming this way like that. Yeah, all right. So if I do that, then then this can kind of go back like that, and then come this way like that. Maybe we're just kind of painting this in here as we go. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can see that now. Let's do it. If you haven't watched me paint before, I don't, I don't use a, I don't use a drawing or reference photo or, I just start painting and see where we go. Oh, there were, I have done a couple where I've used a reference photo, but when I get done, it never looks like a reference photo, so, <laughs> so I don't usually use a reference photo. All right, let's go with another fan brush. I want these trees coming forward to be a little darker. So I'm going to use the same color I got, but I'm going to add some mountain mixture to that. Yeah, that looks okay. So I'm just adding into the same pile of paint that I had to start with. I think I'll pick up a little bit more mountain mixture. Alright, now let's put these in here. Alright, so in we go. Are you streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming. Hey everybody, say hi to my basketball wife. She's over there doing her thing. 
What bring, you gonna bring you a bite. I'm bringing you something to eat. Give me here. something to eat. Okay. Taste that. That's pretty good. I know. I think so too. Where do you want me to put the rest of this? Say on, on those brushes. Be careful. Okay. Except I can't. No. Now I gotta drink something. Turned out pretty good. All right, I didn't like the way that fan brush was operating, so let me get a different one. I like the color, okay. I like the cooking, okay. But all right. If you're wondering if you've seen me paint with both hands, the answer to that question is yes. Yes, yes, yes. I paint with both hands. All right. That'll do. Let's put a little bit of... Well, let's pull the color down first. Let's figure out where the shoreline is first. So we'll do that like... And then maybe higher than that. So I have the shoreline kind of go... From here back up this way like so even though we're going that way though we don't want to when we, when we lay the shoreline in we want that shoreline to stay straight because if it's not horizontal it'll, it'll look weird I don't know how to explain that other than it, it just really will look weird all right let's take put a few tree trunks back up in here That's looking pretty okay. Let's clean one more brush. I got another this brush that I started using. I didn't like. So now, you know, you can watch quite a bit of a few things on YouTube about composition. And, and uh, you need to study composition a bit. And then once you, once you know what the rules are, then feel free to break them because it's it's your it's your it's your painting and it's your world so just do what you want to do. All right, so let's just put let's put start off with some land up here, then some land down here, and then we'll kind of work backwards up toward the. So we'll keep it straight and horizontal, but we'll push it in up this canvas horizontally. All right. Now let's put some water lines in there. Yeah, it's, it's it's sort of it's important to understand what the about composition and why things are the way they are. But then, once you figure once you figured it out, then you know do it makes your painting look the way that you want it to be. All right, that's a lot of that's a lot of waterline. Okay, here we go. Okay, and I think we'll put a little bit of waterline back up here, way back. Well, I don't know. We don't, probably don't need one that much that far back, but. Like right up in here. So we're trying to create that little channel. Going back that way. That's cool. Create a code back up that way. Alright. Now what? Let's think about it. So let's think about the layers. We got sky. We got a sky layer back there. And we got clouds. That's two. We got some mountains here. That's three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's seven layers deep. We want to continue to create create more layers as we go, but just kind of keep track. I found it around thirteen layers. I just, are, are paintings that I'm most most comfortable with. I'll blend that out for a second. I well, we still don't know what's going to go up here in front, but we're just making this just a tad bit darker than the water that's farther back. Oh, oh. Uh, caught a pull right there, so let me pull that out. There we go. 
Alright, now let's just blow the brush strokes out. Now, when I'm pulling this across, I'm actually lifting the brush up. So. Probably put something here in front. It's not all going to be water. You know, you could make it all water and then just call it a day. But then I just have to paint another painting. So let's let's do something more interesting than that. Let's think about it. Let's think about it a little bit. You want to paint your bedroom, Rick? You know, you could come to my house and I'll let you practice on my bedroom. You can you can practice on it and you can paint the library while you're at it. <laughs> Wendy will be glad to, for you to do that, buddy. <laughs> All right. Let's get... All right, let's think about this. What if... What if we had, like, a, a little bit of an island out this way? So we're kind of steppy-stoning, step-stoning across the lake here, so... Let's see. Before we jump all the way up here in the front, let's think about it for a second. All right, let's take a, we'll use the same color, the mountain mixture. And let's put a little bit of an island right Let's put that in with a knife. Kind of scrub it in there. The tip of the knife. And we're not worried too much about this side of the island because we're going to put water lines there and some shoreline. Alright. This is a part back when I used to watch Bob Ross. And he'd, I'd go, no, Bob, don't do it. <laughs> let's do this. Let's draw a line right through the Let's draw a tree right through the middle of the thing. All right. Let's... What do we want to do there? Let's put... Let's put some trees on it. Maybe. We might have to make the island bigger. Yeah. Let's see. We'll see. All right. Let's pick up a uh, fan brush again. I'll just keep using this little one. I kind of like this. I've kind of grown fond of this little fan brush. All right. So we'll mix that. And some brown, some phthalo blue, maybe a little bit more sap green. I'm going to load this brush up pretty good. So hang on a second, I'll show you this brush before I use it. A little more brown. All right, so this brush, we got a lot of, lot. hi Kathy. So we got a lot of paint in this brush. We're going to put some trees up here. <sighs> All right, let's start. We'll start right here. I'm gonna. I don't like my trees to be too straight, so let's just kind of. I'm gonna say right. He's gonna start like right there. And then we'll do kind of. Let's kind of. Tell you what. Let me make an edge on this brush. I didn't get a sharp enough edge. All right. That's good. Maybe. So he's gonna come like sort of like that. We'll figure it out as we go. All right. There's one tree, at least the back part. So here's a good way to think about these short trees when you're painting them. Just think about, the, hey, Sonny. Just think about painting in painting in three painting in three layers. Um, you're painting the back, then you paint the middle, and then you paint the front. So that, if you think about that, you pretty much can't go wrong. So let's let's paint the back in the next one. So let's see. I tell you what, to give that island a little more depth as well, we'll make this tree a little bit smaller.
Now, if we were to continue on, we're going to make that tree more pointy in a second, but it made like another small one, like a really small one out here. I tell you what, I'm going to do this just to show you, and then I'll, I don't want it to stay that way, so, but I'll show you how to do this. So if we make another tree, and we make it out here, we make it really small on this edge. Like that. It gives you the impression that the island is pushed away like that. Like it's like you're looking out across the island like that. Um, but if you're trying to, I want my island to be more, the end of the island to be more turned back toward me a little bit. So I'm going to make a bigger tree. I may have to make a bigger island since I put that tree in there. So let's put this tree right on. Give this tree a shot of Miracle Grow. He's ready to go. All right. Okay. Let me see if I miss any questions. I said hello to Pat. Hi, Kathy. Did I say hi to you? I'm sorry if I didn't. All right. Let's see. Let's make the island. I want the island to be a little larger than that. Maybe. Not a lot, but a little bit. So let's just, yeah, just a little bit like that. I want like the, yeah. I want that edge to kind of stick out on both sides a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Back to the middle of these trees, if we shall, if we, if you, if you will. All right. So I'm just going to take some of this brown color that we've been using and a little bit of white, and we're just going to make some tree trunks in the middle. I'm going to cover a lot of that up, so it'll really, look too pointy. And then I want to take, I want that tree to stay crooked. I like that, the way that it kind of goes like that. I like that, so I'm going to keep that. I want to make this tree a little more pointy. Make this tree a little more pointy. There we go. At the top. And then we start putting some highlights on here. And then we'll worry about what we're going to do with the rest of the island. Maybe over here we'll put an island and we'll build a house on it or something. I don't know. All right, we'll figure it out. All right, let's get some highlight color going. So, let me clean this brush. I'm gonna use the same brush. If you're wondering why that makes that clanking sound, I use a Pyrex uh, glass canister as my, it fits perfectly for my, uh, Thing it's so easy to wipe paint out of. All right, so I got some cad yellow that I used here the other day in another painting. I don't put my paints away. I just cover them with plastic, and they last a pretty good long time. Oh, it's awful bright. It's more bright than. All right, let's add a little bit of dark to that. All right, maybe that looks better. All right, let's try that. I don't know, man. That don't look. That don't look good to me. Let's put. It's it's, it's just too light. All right, here we go. When I first started painting, I had a problem with my colors being too light, and and uh, several different people kept telling me darker, darker, and I didn't understand that. I didn't understand. But the more paintings I've done, the more I figured that out. So. I think I'll take that same color. I'm not trying to cover those trunks up completely. I think we'll take a, a little bit of titanium white, a little bit of blue, like this. Now let's try that. Let's see. I just want to put in a reverse color on here. So I'm just putting up some blue. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. Hmm. All right. Now, so now we're back to the oven. I said we'll figure out what, what we're going to do with the island. So let's do that because. 
It wants to grow. It wants to grow a little bit more still. Even. So let's let's make it a little bit bigger. I want to make some room for some landscape in here. So let's just add a little bit more layering. Like this. And if you if you're painting along with me or you want to paint this yourself, if you've got smaller fingers, I have big old fingers, but if, if you have smaller fingers, you might want to take a towel and wipe some of that paint back. I'm gonna take I'm gonna do that with a fan brush. I'm just gonna wipe some of this paint back. I wanna pick some of this paint up off of this canvas. It's too much paint for me. There we go. So you might not can tell the difference of this, but I'll show it to you in just a second. All right, so this is this brush was clean, and this is how much paint I lifted off of there. So that's a pretty good paint. Paint we'll put back on the palette and use later. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it takes longer to clean a small fan brush than it takes to clean everything else, but it does. All right, let's. Put some sap green in here on this island. You're not going to see this color too much yet. Kind of fuzzy up that line a little bit. There we go. May even add a couple of weeds and things like that here and there. Just pull them up a little bit. There we go. Now then, let's add, now let's come back with that cad yellow and see how, how that does. Alright. Now. Okay, so this is a quiz for those of you who are painters. Get ready. You ready? All right. What? Looking at this layer and looking at this layer back here. What do we need to add to this layer to this island to make the lighting stay stay right? Can you tell me? Do you know? And while you're while you're thinking about it, I will start prepping up to do some of it. I'm just mixing up some color while I'm waiting for you guys to answer. Nope, nobody's nobody's got an answer for me? Okay, well that's alright. Alright, so we're going to add the reflections for these trees. So we're just going to kind of, I'm going to add some landscaping right here. So I'm just going to kind of build this tree up backwards. creating like a mirror image painting. In that case, it's better to just turn the painting over and paint the trees that way. You don't really have to worry about that too much. All right, so we want to kind of lightly brush these, fuzz them out a little bit. And then let's just kind of pull them across. There we go. Some of that might get covered up if we put another thing in here. So. We put a house or something in there, it might get covered up, but for now it'll it'll be okay. Alright, let's put in some a little bit of landscape. <clears throat> I'm just about to run out of this brown. We have to get some more out before we're done. That brown over the top of the black. And some light brown over the top of that. I want a lot of I want to cover up all that dark. I'm gonna leave some of that dark sitting there. That'll give it more of a three-dimensional look. Add some water lines in here. Okay. 
Well, hmm, we could. I don't know if we need a house in here. Maybe we just build some more. <laughs> we could build like an island out this way a little bit and stick a or maybe a tent on here, or we could. I don't know. Let me sit here for a second. See if you guys are asking me questions. I could I could do that while I'm waiting, but nobody's talking today. Everybody's. I'll just keep blending this a little bit while I'm waiting. While I'm thinking. While I'm waiting for the instant for what I'm going to do to hit me. All right. Let's see. Let's think about it. Take a little bit of I'm gonna keep keep a little bit of this mountain mixture going along with a little bit of this Van Dyke Brown. I think we'll put some more landscape in here. Alright. So let's just some of that color, make a mixture here. Just keep mixing right in the same pile of paint. Maybe a little tap, touch of sap greening with that. All right, let's see. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? What if we? Let's see about that. Who's brushing this dark color in? For right now, we're just putting the color down and we'll figure out what we're gonna. So I told you earlier, we put that, that water in there, it didn't matter because we were gonna figure out what else we wanted to have. In a bit. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What shall we do? Thank you. We're still trying to figure out what we're doing, but we'll figure it out. Uh, Alright, let's paint another tree in here. Oh, this fails. Add a tree. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> Maybe not. Alright, let's put a tree in here. Low dip brush up, full of paint. Let's do it. So in May, we'll finish up my third year of painting as a painter. I didn't start painting until 2016. Matter of fact, I had an art teacher tell me I didn't have any talent to paint back in the 80s. And I actually thought that was true. So until I went to a Bob Ross class, I didn't know any better. Um, but once I paint, once I started painting, I, I just couldn't stop. So this is getting, I don't know, it might be at the Close to my 300th painting, I guess. Sometimes I'll paint on stream. I'll paint a couple of paintings a day. Or a couple of paintings per stream. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So let's just put some more trees in. I'm feeling kind of, let's see, let's put another tree right here. <coughs> so you guys got these trees down pat. Everybody, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, three. Uh, let's put in two more trees. All right, so I'm gonna use the same trick I showed you earlier about putting the trees smaller and taller and all that stuff. Look, it's wrong with that side of the brush. There we go. All right. One more. We'll put five trees in here. figure out, I'm going to put something else in this painting right there, we might not want to have to highlight those all those trees so much, but let's see, let's figure it out, let's figure it out together, alright, let me take a moment, <clears throat> get my baby whites out here, get the paint off my hand, alright, <clears throat> alright, so we got some trees here, we could put, we could slide a, we could put a tent in there, put some bushes down on this end. All right, we'll see, we'll see what we got. So let's get a flat brush or a filbert, one of those two. Sort of flat, but it'll do. All right. So this is just some yellow ochre. I wish I'd put this on the other side. It would've been easier for me. All right. <laughs> Let's see how we want to do this. Let's just sketch it in first. Let's just kind of. Try not to get in your all's way, but I think I'm going to have to before I'm done. But hmm. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So we got a lot of paint on there right now. So we let's see. Hang on a second. Let's see if I look. Yeah, here we go. I'm looking for my little paint. This is a little paint eraser. Yeah, I don't use one of these. They're pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty slick. This one's made by Wilson Bigford. I don't know if it's made by him, but he's got his name on it. All I'm doing is taking excess paint back off the canvas. And there's not a, a lot of paint, but there's enough to keep my paint from sticking when I go to paint it on there. We can get our paint to stick a little better. So let's. I may have to scoot this over, guys. It's too far to the right for me. All right. I don't I think this line is too. I think the 
this line right here is too sharp, so we're going to kind of pull it down. We'll fix that in a second. That looks better. All right, so let's take this part here and let's black this part out. Run this back out like that. All right, so we know now where that's going to go. I don't necessarily have to paint it in right now, but I think I might. I might. I might. Thank you, Baktaj. Did I say that right? Is that, did I say? Tell me if I didn't say your name right. I try to. I try to get that right. All right. Let's put the landscape in here, and then we'll then we'll work with that. See what else we want to do here. All right. Let's take a one inch brush. Oh, this is a good brush to use for that. Let's take. This is. Uh, This is an oval brush. All right, let's put some. Well, it's good except I didn't have enough paint on it. But We're just putting in some color first, then we'll come back and put, put some highlight in there. Okay, let's see how this looks. okay to paint over the tent if we want to do a little bit. Okay. Because <clears throat> we're going to paint that back in anyway, so it doesn't matter. And if we didn't want to paint right over it, just use a paint eraser again. Alright, so that'll put the old brush away for a little bit. I'm glad you guys could be with me today. I haven't been feeling too good today, so I thought I'd paint and see if I could shake off the, this funky feeling that uh, springtime's trying to drop on me here. Alright. Alright, so the highlight's going to kind of be right here on this side. Mistake. Don't mind telling you when I make a mistake. This tree's not pointy. It needs a little point. So do all these do. It needs a little point sticking up. So let's just go back and do that real quick. There we go. Alright. Now we're good. Now we're good. Alright, let's go. Alright, now we got to kind of start to move this. I like to the other side. All right, let's pick up some of that green. Let's try a little bit of a reverse highlight here. You don't want your reverse highlight man, your highlights to split right down the middle of the tree because and then it kind of looks kind of looks, looks I don't know it doesn't look quite look right. All right.
Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about this tent. I may have to move the camera because I have to move this canvas. So let me move it. Let me move it first to see if you guys can see okay. So I'm gonna wait a second. I think you can still see okay. But while you're doing that, I will mix up some color. I think I want this tint to be a bit bright on one side, not so bright on the other side. So let's take some cad yellow. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that with a hand brush. Why not? Goofball. All right. No more questions? Okay. No. Okay. All right, let's get the flat brush back out. All right, so we're going to use this little flat. A little bit of liquid white. Let's kind of paint this in here. This color to be darker. So let's kind of pull this a little bit of a. I, mean, I don't know if that's going to be so much darker though. It doesn't look darker. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. It's the only way we're going to find out. Like I wanted it, so that's okay. <coughs> I do want a little bit of highlight across the top, though, on that edge. So let's do that. I'm gonna wipe the brush off, though. Where is it? All right. So I want some highlight, like right along this edge. Just a little less highlight right there on that back. Now, on this, <clears throat> well, it's a tent, it's not a cabin, so. Alright. Kind of blurred this out a little bit. Straighten that. But there we go. Alright. <clears throat> let's, let's blend this out. I don't like the way that looks with the. There we go. Alright. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend. <coughs> I'm having a pretty good weekend, except for, having, <coughs> except for losing my voice and feeling not so good. But any day you're breathing is a good day. All right, let's take, let's take, let's take some dark color. Let's kind of. I'm gonna rough up this edge of this. That out there. Yeah, that looks better. We're going to put some other stuff around this tent in just a second. Don't go away. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to pick up a little bit of highlight the color. If I can find it, there it is. We're just pushing that color in a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, we'll put some closer. <coughs> Just throw some rocks in there. Maybe a little campfire looking like rock thing. Maybe. <coughs> Haven't decided. We'll figure it out when we get over there. Alright, let's see. I need a filbert. I don't know if this one this big, but I'll, I don't have a smaller one right at my hand. Right at my feet. Right at my hand, so let's just kind of. Alright, so we've double loaded this filbert. So we got <coughs> midnight brown on one side. Let's kind of. These guys have got their cabin out there in the middle of nowhere, having a good time. <laughs> I get going with rocks, I can't stop sometimes. All right, there we go. One more touch up, one more touch up on the tent. Right now, you could look at it and say it could be a cabin, it could be a tent. Let's put the tent flap on it, and we'll know for sure, right? I'll pick up a little script liner. It'll, that'll do. Pick up a little script liner, a little dark color. That's an awful big script liner, though. All right, just, yeah. We'll try it. If this one doesn't work, we'll get a different one. All right. It's a pretty fine line we're drawing here. All right, guys. Let me look at. The, let me stop for a second and look at this. Oh, hi, Sherry. Hey, Jeff. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Well. Hmm. I can't think of anything else I really want to put in there at the moment. Alright, let's leave that there. If I decide I want to paint something else, I'll fire the camera back up and we'll do another stream. Uh, but I think right now I'll go take some. Get me a drink. Maybe I'll eat some chicken noodle soup. That'd probably be pretty good. All right. All right. Well, let me go clear my head out. And I hope you guys are having a... Oh, you know what? I was just going to give away a painting. Hang on a second. Let me tell, let me tell you. Hang on. Let me pick one up. Let me go get it. All right, so you know what? I think I'll give away two paintings. Because the last time we gave, went to give away a painting, the person that won it didn't claim it. So let's do that. All right, so we have... This is the first one that we'll give away. This one right here. This is an 8x10 on canvas board. Just a rock wall. It's called Spring... I think it's called Spring Runoff. And then we have this guy, this little space painting we're going to give away too. It's 8x10 on stretch canvas. And it is called Among the Stars. I think I'll give these two paintings away tomorrow. But we're going to do it from the people on this stream today. So, if you would, click like on this video. Um, and click like on the page, if you would. Please, sir. Please, ma'am. And um, share this. For each one of those things that you do, you'll get one chance to win. So tomorrow we'll draw two names. And we'll give away both these paintings. So... Um, we'll mail them to you. If you live in the United States, I can only mail them in the United States. It's all I can afford. Sorry, guys. But for those of you that live outside the States, I'm sorry. But I'm a retired guy, so I can only afford so much. So, 
<laughs> Alright guys, anyway, y'all have a good Sunday, and I will see you, um, what's today, Sunday, have a good Sunday, so let's see, let's maybe, Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll do another stream, and if I decide to do another one later, if I start feeling better later, maybe we'll do another one here too, so, today, so, hope you guys have a good Sunday, I'll catch you later.